<laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about convergent play boundaries. If two basketball players come together in a basketball, if they converge on the basketball, what are they doing, Neva? They collide. Well, how would you say it? Rachel. They come together. All right, when you're taking notes, don't feel free to actually write that. Converge means to come together. Anyway, the first type we're going to talk about is a continental and continental conversion. So in your notes, continental, continental. Now, the two continents we keep talking about, or the two continental plates we keep talking about are the India plate and the Asia plate. The Indian plate, it is crushing, moving, passing into the Asian plate a couple of feet per year. So what's going to have to happen to all that rock in the middle? Take a wild guess, Jake. It's going to have to go somewhere. It's going to have to go somewhere. Where is it going to have to go? It's going to make a mountain. It says it's going to make a mountain. Just like two cars crashing together, what's, what's going to happen to the hoods of those two cars? Exactly. The exact same thing. So the India plate. gets smushed, and that Asian plate gets smushed too. They're getting smushed together as they, as the India plate pushes in. And what, my little terrible drawing here, what is that terrible drawing showing? Which mountain range? Ooh. The Himalayan. The Himalayan mountain range. But just in general, generally you get mountains, right? A better picture of that is here. You have a crust pushing in, a different crust pushing in. Mountains get pushed up in the middle. Mount Everest grows by about that much every year because of this. So Mount Everest has never been taller than it has been right now. It'll be a little taller tomorrow. Neva. They make one mountain range. Good question. They kind of mix together. So one big mountain range forms. So the Himalayan mountains, one big mountain range. Yes? So they abolish mountains? Good connection. Now, my drawing had India just getting wider, but some of it does get pushed under. What if they both go down? They both can't go down because there's earth underneath. There's there's that heavy mantle holding them up. So they just have to crush together. Great question. I don't know. I honestly don't. Uh, this picture here mentions that it's ancient oceanic crust. Maybe so. Maybe the this crust is a little bit more dense. That's one idea. But. Overall, we get mountains. All right, so continental, continental come together, we get mountains. Next, if a continental and an oceanic plate crash together. So over here, let's say, we have North America. So you have the North America plate, what's going to be crashing into it over here? Yeah. Let's say here's the Pacific plate. Now, what density did we learn these have? The North America plate has a different density as a continental plate than this oceanic plate. Can you go back in your notes quick? Somebody find that? Was in the video notes from before. The North American plate has a density of 
Eddie? Two point seven G slash ML. What does that stand for? Milliliters. Grams per. Milliliter. Yep. So for every milliliter, this weighs about two point seven grams. Whereas the Pacific plate, David, three point zero grams per milliliter. Which one? Which one's more dense? Pacific. Pacific's more dense. If it's more dense, is it going to want to? Be on top of it or uh, below? Below. Yeah, if something's more dense, the whole year we've been talking about how that makes it want to sink beneath. So gravity is going to pull on this a little bit heavy more and it's going to pull this down. North American plate is going to get pushed up. Here's what we end up with our Pacific plate gets pushed down. Okay? What's the fancy word we learned for a plate getting pushed under a different one? Uh -huh. Starts with an S. Oh, it's sinking. Good job, Dave. Good job, Dave. Sub. Subduction. 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 Yep. So subduction pulls it down that way. The North American plate pretty much rides on top. The only thing is, is this only rock getting pushed deep underground? But it, could there also be dead algae and plants and dead fish and water along with it? That's a problem, right? So if we have lots of water and lots of other stuff getting pushed deep underground, this is going to start melting into magma. What's going to happen to that water? It's going to get boiled. It's going to come. It is definitely going to start boiling, right? Is it okay, do you think, to have a big pocket full of steam inside of the earth? Is that going to just stay there forever? No. What's going to have to happen? Well, if you think this is a low density, steam has a much lower density, and that's going to want to rise. Up much more quickly. And up here, this is how we end up with. Guys. I mean, this is what powers geysers. I hear what you're saying. That's not wrong. But. What am I drawing here? A volcano. That's definitely a volcano. So volcanoes are powered by this stuff getting pulled down with the plate. Yes? So, Old Faithful. We're talking about convergent plates right now. You're talking about Old Faithful. North American plate. Underneath it is the mantle. All right. In Yellowstone. There's a lot of magma, lava, up in the plate that's closer to the surface than it is here. And so this magma, this lava, this hot stuff isn't very far away from groundwater and little tunnels and all this other stuff. And that's what powers Old Faithful. Does it have anything to do with converging plates? No. 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 So this is an what's called an anomaly. So inside of the plate, there's a hot spot. That hot spot powers geysers and stuff like that. But it has very little to do with what we're talking about here, which is convergent plate boundaries. So different time, we can talk about that. Continental oceanic, to review, the oceanic plate gets pushed down, why? It's more dense. The North American plate rides above because it's less dense. and Earthquake or volcanoes get powered by the uh, steam and all the other stuff that uh, makes it down into the earth. That's why volcanoes can be so explosive. You get enough steam in there, that's a lot of power trying to push up. On to divergent plate boundaries. Diverge 
If two roads diverge, what are they doing? Thank you. If you didn't know that or you want to give yourself a note, should you do that? That's how you make notes helpful to yourself. Anyway, there's only two types we're going to talk about. First one is continental and continental diverging plates. So if I have a continental plate and another continental plate, and they are moving away from each other. Are they going to move away and just leave a square hole opening in the air? No. I somehow, somehow, somehow doubt it. Right? Anyway, here's what ends up happening. You end up with a plate. It's kind of like it's stretched. So and those pieces in the middle just sort of fall in, fall down. And at the same time, you end up with the magma's kind of moving higher and higher, too. What is this called? Do you remember from that video we were watching? Africa. The Horn of Africa is getting ripped away. It starts with an R. Right, it's a drift. <laughs> I pretty much gave it to you, right? This is a rift valley. for your very neat notes in your notebook. Those plates are moving apart. Okay. After a while, you end up with volcanoes. You end up with, like we saw in that video, the people's drinking water was being boiled away by this magma that's moving up as the land moves down. What's this going to become? Ocean. 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 Yeah. So they're saying that Horn of Africa, there's a new ocean Formula, or there's going to be a new sea at least there in millions of years. Yes? Are there ever plates that follow each other? Like one goes this way and one goes this way? Absolutely. The plates can follow each other. The plates in California, they're both moving up towards Canada. It's just one of them's moving faster. So this one's moving this fast, and this one's moving like this fast. And so they're passing each other. So plates can do whatever they need to do. They they don't only go straight apart or straight together. A lot of times they're doing weird stuff. Yes? Wouldn't that mean like constant earthquakes if we're like both moving like Yes, when we talk about the different faults, this is the kind that causes a of earthquakes. Here's a better picture. As these plates get pulled apart, the, the crust gets thinner, magma pushes up, and eventually we end up with an ocean. Right? This is continental, continental. Last one is oceanic, oceanic. As the ocean plates pull apart. So, there's the ocean. We're under it. There's a different plate because these are divergent boundaries that are moving outward. Now in this case, last time we saw how we said that it's not just going to leave a square opening, right? But in this case, what is going to happen? It's not going to settle into each other the way the Rift Valley does. You want to take a guess at this, Mitchell? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, the magma pushes up in, makes new rocks. So then these end up being new.
every time it moves apart, we get new rocks in the middle. Moves apart, new rocks in the middle. Moves apart, new rock in the middle. We get new rock there. As you move away from the center, the rock gets older and older and older and older and older. So, older rock as you move that way. Hey, Amanda, you have a question? Well, I mean, so you're worried about this subtracting this magma? Elsewhere on the Earth, there's magma being added. In this case, there's a little bit of magma pushing up. But overall, the Earth is so big and the crust is so thin, it really doesn't matter to the amount. Good question, though. Good thinking. Yeah, the, we have to remember that the crust of the Earth is just, I mean, if you imagine an egg, the eggshell is the crust. And that's probably too thick. Yeah, it's a tiny film. It's it's not very much at all. So, what do we call this? Ideas, thoughts? No, we have this. This is the biggest thing on the Earth. Is this sort of thing right here in the Atlantic Ocean called the mid mid ocean ridge. Mid Ocean Ridge. Here's a different view of the same thing. 